morning, 47. Our Providence contact has shared the identity of the Shadow Client, a former mercenary and bodyguard by the name of Lucas Gray. His past is a black void, but our analysts are digging deep. Meanwhile, we've had a breakthrough of our own. Comparing the malicious attack patterns with global shipping and transportation routes, we've figured out how Mr. Gray and his paramilitaries move around the world undetected. They're using the distribution network of the Delgado Cartel, Colombia's biggest drug manufacturer. Clearly, Gray must have struck a deal with the Delgados. Consequently, if we can cripple the cartel, we can severely limit the malicious strike range. But to do so, we need to slay a three-headed serpent. Sociopathic cartel head Rico Delgado and his two closest lieutenants, PR guru Andrea Martinez and savant chemist Jorge Franco. With equal parts guts and guile, Rico Delgado runs a thriving billion-dollar criminal empire. The word is, the brutal and volatile cartel head is hell-bent on becoming the number one drug lord in the world. To achieve this, Martinez, a childhood friend of Delgado's, has been buttering up state leaders and decision makers, paving the way for an expansion of the Delgado Logistics Network, while the brilliant but aloof and antisocial Franco has been hard at work developing a new type of super cocaine. So, three of Colombia's most infamous crime lords inhabiting a decidedly hostile environment. I will leave you to prepare. Welcome to Colombia, 47. The remote village of Santa Fortuna awaits you deep inside the Colombian rainforest. An iron-fisted Delgado cartel rules over the village and its surroundings. Security around Santa Fortuna and the closed-off cartel compound is extremely tight. Armed sicarios patrol the streets of the village, ready to enforce harsh punishments to those who do not comply. Rumors persist of hidden transportation cave systems connecting the village, the cartel compound, and the hidden coca fields beyond. It is a rare occurrence to have all three cartel leaders present in the village at the same time. Expect that all targets are protected by scrupulous killers armed with automatic weapons. Rico Delgado inhabits his fortified mansion on the outskirts of the village, while Andrea Martinez can be found in her village office, or around Santa Fortuna itself. And Jorge Franco is engaged in development of a new drug in his field laboratory. Happy hunting, 47. Power guy? Hang on, man. I hope you don't mind, but you need to please me. Man, if you want to pass, I need to look through your pockets. There is no two ways about it. You're entering the lion's den, 47. Tread carefully. Practically no, everyone here is dangerous, not least Rico Delgado himself. Okay, All let's right, go, Mr. Power. Let's go, Mr. Delgado wanted to meet you. She's a big fan. 
See if they get the rico afterwards. So famous tattoo artist, huh? I put some ink on skin as well in my time. Of course, most of that was in prison and not always on people who appreciated the work. You know how hard it is to tattoo traitor on a guy's forehead while he's squirming around on the ground like a wall? Not easy, let me tell you. Interesting story. Thank you for sharing. You bet. That is Catalina Delgado, wife to Rico Delgado for the past 11 years. Oh I'm gonna be dead honest with you. I even got my ex-girlfriend Margarita's name tattooed on my it's groin. Such an honor to and I want to get a chance with something else. I just else. love your show. You that episode where you tattoo the heart of the husband of that time policeman while they're administrating CPR, <laughs> it's the most beautiful thing I've ever seen. A great moment. I cherish the memory to this day. Ah, oh, see. So, Rico has this tattoo on his neck, and he insists it's supposed to be based on the photo of me. I'm not a fool, Mr. Powers. My nose never looked like that, not even before the operation. And sure, I've had a few ticks done here and there, but nothing as drastic as that. I want you to make it look like me, not some young skank. I'll do my very best, Mrs. Delgado. Ah, oh, Chico. Let me just grab a quick selfie with you, all right? Sure. Why not? Yay! Just look this way. Oh, Kissy. Wow. We look so good together. This is great. So far, so good, 47. Now to leave your mark on Mr. Delgado. So, this is the famous P. Power, that do artist to the stars. Huh. You don't exactly look like you do on TV, do you? There's something different about you. Cariño, don't insult our guest. He's obviously not been sitting in a stylist chair for days, but this is P Power. Who else would it be? Well, what about those cheekbones? The guy on TV didn't have cheekbones like that. Hey, Rico, enough. You know they fix all that in post production. Just let the man work. Okay, fine. Whatever you say. Okay, I'm ready. Let's get this thing fixed. You doing this just to annoy me, Kat? I'm just grabbing a few shots for the socials. Relax, Rico. You can't focus here, all right? You're being such an ass right now, Rico. So what are we waiting for, huh? I'm here, I'm ready. Get on with it. You are really getting on my nerves now. Oh, stop being so grumpy, Rico. I find your constant photography very annoying, dear. I'm sorry that my self- Whoa, hey, Rico, don't worry. Got this under control. Hey, the two guy. I'm watching you. One wrong move, you know, as RPN. You hear me? Hey, listen, you're taking this new bodyguard job a little too seriously, Jose. Just doing what's necessary, Rico. You're making me nervous, Jose. Put that thing away. Afraid I can't do that, Patron. This person might get the jump on us. You need to keep still, Mr. Delgado. I wouldn't want to stab you by accident. You heard the man, Catalina. Leave us now. Fine. Have it your way. But that tattoo better look exactly like me when you're done with your new BFF, Rico. I need you to calm down a bit, Jose. He's a strange Rico. I don't like his face. Hey, I need you to stand down. Stop waving that thing around. No, 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 no. no. I'm not willing to take any risks here, Jefe. Hey, I'm not paying you to just hang around, amigo. Get that needle to work, or you'll be sorry. Hey, Jose, I need you to leave us alone now. You're too wound up right now. You understand? All right, boss, all right. But I'll be back in a little while if I don't hear from you, way boy. Oh, finally, so be so quiet. Can I finish my work now? <laughs> do what you do best, man. You got it.
Rico Delgado has been eliminated. Nicely done. I understand you have a certain letter in your possession. Yeah? Maybe. So what? I have a letter from Miss Martinez. Me. All right, let me see that. Is that from Hector? I wouldn't know anything about that. Well, let me enlighten you. Hector Delgado and Andrea Martinez were an item once. Explosive and deadly. Things did not end well between them. He wants them to get back together. She wants them to go to hell. She's not accepting letters or gifts or anything from him. And neither am I. You put it on her desk yourself if it's so important to you. Well done, 47. This should be good.
Oh, hell no. How did this end up here? Which one of you buffoons left a letter from Hector on my desk? I swear to God, when I find out, you're dead. I can't believe this. Well, he's persistent, that's for sure. Oh, well, what's the harm? It's just a letter. Probably just some pitiful cry for help or some shit like that. Let's just read it and get it over with. Ah, to hell with it. Let's see what that fool has to tell me. See what he has to say. Martinez is down. Good work. One work. Fancy machine, my ass. So, it sounds like the Delgado's helicopter pilot dropped a package over the jungle by mistake. A red box containing circuit boards for Jorge Franco's new cocaine processing machine. Hmm. Sounds like a workplace accident waiting to happen, providing Franco can get his machine working. The giant lump of metal inside a shed. Either way, the box is gone. So, as it should be obvious to anyone, once this majestic piece of machinery is open,
show, Fortison. Time to bring Franco down to size. That sound. My machine is humming again. Targets neutralized. This should paralyze the cartel. Excellent work, 47. Now head for an exit. Successful. Tactical targets neutralized. Militia transport network disabled. Location of primary target unknown. Team chasing several leads. End message. Encrypt and send. checks out. We can prove the board knew about the chemical leaks. We'll have grounds for a retrial. It won't make a difference. They're too powerful. They're not the devil, Nancy. Just a company. They're not above the law, don't you see? This is bigger than James. Those bastards killed 80 people. And they got away with it. Think about what that means. No one's untouchable. No one's untouchable. Diana! Coming! Got what we came for. Move out. 